Hello, welcome to episode 144 of the Epic Film Challenge. A classic Raging Bull. Um, first time seeing this, it was a blind buy. Um, loved it. Um, although, I wouldn't call it one of those films that I watch all the time, and I wouldn't call it like a 10 out of 10 classic. Um, I don't know what, the thing is, maybe, I, I think it is a 10 out of 10 classic, but I wouldn't enjoy it as much as that, it's hard to explain. Basically, I don't like things I don't like about this is that it's really kind of it's a true story. Basically, it's based on the boxer Jake LaMotta, who was a boxer in the forties, and it follows his life basically. And Robert De Niro is amazing in this. Um, he just you know, there's a lot of uh, work has gone into him looking like J uh, Jake LaMotta, and he got into real shape for it, and then he put on a lot of weight to play Jake LaMotta uh, later on in his life, uh, which is really you know you got to respect that kind of commitment. Um, and he Jones. Do, you want, do you want to say that again? Bridget Jones? It's like Bridget Jones. It's not like that, but she had to put on a lot of weight. <coughs> so, that so, you know, Raging Bull, up there with Bridget Jones for sure. And, um. <laughs> Any <laughs> 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 Anyway, um. Yeah, you gotta respect that in an actor. Um. And he plays him brilliantly, like the accent and everything. Uh, Joe Pesci is his brother, is amazing as well. It was a really, really good film, shot in black and white. Martin Scorsese film, just really beautifully shot at times. The boxing scenes are great. Um, but it, towards the end of the film, he just, he just, it just gets really sad because it's the true story of his life, and it's just, you know, it really just his life goes to shit. You know, <laughs> it's really bad. Um, well, it's not like the worst kind of, you know, true story you've seen on a film, but. It just kind of leaves you with a bit of a disappointed kind of. Oh, it's a shame we didn't sort himself out, kind of thing, you know. But I don't know. I guess it ends on a bit of a hopeful note and stuff. But that was my only problem with the film. Um, I'm gonna give it a ten out of ten because I think it is a classic. Um, but it's not one that I would watch a lot. I don't think. I think I'll maybe watch it a few more times before I, you know, die. But. It's not one I'm going to be watching like every year, I don't think. But it is a great, great, great film. I definitely recommend it. 10 out of 10. Raging Bull.